Hey guys, it's Spawn 82 and we're here for uh, Catacomb Snatch. Now, as I've mentioned before, and sorry, I can't really do much of anything about the volume of this at the moment, but as I mentioned before, this is the charity game that they did, or that the Mojang guys did. And now, it's not a hugely complex game, as you know, because it's only three days worth of work, but I think we should give them credit for what they did, and um... Let's take a look here for a moment. All right. So you play... Well, at the moment, I am Lord Lard. And there's only one map. And the object is to collect money to make it to the center of the labyrinth and set up minecart tracks. Yes, there's minecart... Or some sort of mine involved. That way you can... Uh, that way you can collect the balls in the center. Now, we're probably not going to be able to do a whole thing, but I want to show you some aspects of this game. Let's... So, those are monster spawners. They will create monsters indefinitely, but the other thing about this is every time you leave the screen, uh, things will respawn. It is not just, you know... Alright, and these are turrets. The turrets are your friends. You cannot make it through the game without the turrets. And I'm hoping we'll be able to get a little bit of work done. I'm only going to be doing one episode of this because this is honestly better suited as a two-player game. Beyond any doubt. I have not gotten a chance to play it two-player yet. I'm probably going to try. But... Oh, you know, since the turrets can be killed, everything can take damage. Everything. Uh, I want to try and set up a defensive perimeter here. Or at least a little bit of a defensive perimeter here. And I'll show... I want to try and show you what everything does. So, we're going to need a few more turrets for that, honestly, because it's very hard to... You could not, yeah, like I said, you could not play this game without the turrets. I mean, alright, I'm not going to say that you might be able to. There, There's a certain level of obsessive, you know, freakishly good gamer out there that could probably just waltz through this game without needing anything. And they frighten me because they are like the, I don't know, the messiah of gaming now. Let's see, I'm gonna start setting up another barrier, or another defensive line, I suppose. Let's, ow. Now, let's get everything we can. Now, yeah, um, Lord Lard, I, I, I'm not sure that that's not... Or the character in question is not based off of Notch. Not that I'm calling Notch fat, because I'm way larger than him, so I have no right to call him anything. Other than Notch. But, there's, um, you know, an Herr von Speck. I don't know what that means. But, well, or if it's any joke in, or any reference to popular media or something. So, you do regenerate if you can wait long enough between, uh, getting hit that way. Which is good, because... Oh, man. Wow, that's a lot of gold we suddenly got. Anyway. Let me see. Eh. Eh. So, now, these. These, I can't remember what the hell they're called, but... Well, we'll call it, I think, gatherers. That's what they do. They gather up the gold that drops. And once you have a number of turrets, and you just pick it up and it collects everything that was in it. So, it is very much, very much an important addition. Because you're not, you're going to need to do a lot. Because, um, alright, let me show you, we have a bit of cash here, so I'll show you this. Um... What you have to do is the R button, I believe, 
places the train track that you need to go through. And then once you have the train track placed, you go down here and you hit the R button and it will send out a robot. Now, of course, the robot is essentially useless to me at the moment, so all I really did was waste a pile of money. Same with the train track I keep placing by accident. It is just a waste of funds. Uh, let's go get some more turrets. Yeah, this is this is what you're gonna spend most of your time doing. And once we have notice that unfortunately I don't think they ever got time to code in the other monsters that they had been working on because there were supposed to be beetles and there were supposed to be all sorts of things, but yeah, I just never got a chance to code it in, and that makes me sad. But they got three monsters in. They didn't... I can't complain at all for, you know, just a small number of guys. And this is the bomb. It'll only work on those walls, I believe, but... Alright, anyway, let's... Alright, now. Let's see what we can do here. Now, yeah, as I said, a lot of the game... And let me see if I can get up to show you what the goal is, even if I can't actually get to it. Because the other thing that sucks is if you die, all that money you have is gone. That's just gone. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, like that. And I want to get rid of that because the card's getting in my damn way and it's starting to piss me off. And if you're lucky, you might make it back and get some of your money back. I don't think you can get it all back, but some is... Some is good as well. So. Let's start moving turrets up. And see what we can do. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now let's move down. Yeah, he wanted to, like, he, he, they wanted to create a steampunk style video game, which, you know, is, as they pointed out, steampunk is not, you know, something with gears glued, or just something with gears glued to it, it's, you know, different, but, it's different than what most people assume. And I, I, I like it, it's a cute, weird, kooky little game. Uh, I I would love to see it further developed. They actually released the source code for it once they were done with the product or done with it. That way people could edit it to their heart's content, and I hope people do. I hope I see all sorts of mods for this. This yeah you know, was well. They put as stupid as it sounds from my point of view. A game this simple is something absolutely amazing. And uh, I wish they would, I wish they would fully develop it, but of course, that's not the point of the, or that wasn't actually the point of the, uh, exercise. The point was, you watched them develop the game, and, you know, you got a game that was developed in three days. That's why it would actually kind of be bad for them to, you know... It would almost be bad for them to do anything to it, or because that would mean that you know it had completely negated the point of the challenge, or the spirit of the challenge. And that would, I know everyone is right now going, "What the hell's wrong with you? Don't you want a fully or er, complete game?" And okay, yeah, I do like complete video games, but. It's the spirit of, they did this in three days. I mean, th this is the video game equivalent of Jesus. It took them three days and it's here. And you know, that's some awful lag as the joke goes. Cause, you know, it took three days to respawn. Her, her, her. Anyway. Let's... Let's, let's see what we can do about this. I mean, I'm not gonna... 
Not gonna take this too far, as I mentioned. Wow, that's a lot of cash. All right. And I'm gonna take this too far because I tried, or I did play the game earlier. It took me about an hour of just this sort of thing. There's, there's not much more to it other than just running back and forth and putting things out. And uh, it's, it wouldn't be that interesting for you guys. Plus, there's also the point that it could at any, any moment glitch the hell out and freeze, which it does do. Uh, I believe these guys here, you know, the collectors, stand a chance of glitching the game every time you use one, because it's not perfect, but at the same time, you have, you'll need, you need them. You can't just not use them. Oh, you could. That's, yeah, that, that's not true. You could not use them. It would just make the game take forever. So, we'll do a little bit more, I mean, mostly this is just me showing off. It's an adorable little game, I mean, it really is. I, I, I think it's great. It reminds me so much of old SNES and Nintendo games. It's more of a Nintendo game because of its simplicity, but it's still just so fun. I love I will be watching very closely to see what, you know, the community, or the gaming community does with this game. Because it could have a lot of potential. A lot of potential, and I'd like, or I'd almost feel let down if, you know, they don't do something. And If I had the ability to code, I would do it myself, but I, I don't. I'm not that smart. And so anyway, let's, I ought to just see how far forward I can get. There you go, get a damn bomb. And let's take a look. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah, and that's, that's the room right there. That's the room where the goal is. I'm going to see if I can't get in there just really quickly to show you all what, what you're looking at is. So, oh, bomb. Let's see if we can get it there. Don't shoot at me, turrets. I don't know if you'll do that. And oh lord, this is gonna be awkward and dangerous. Uh, uh. Come on, come on, come on. Uh. All right. Anyway, blow up. Yeah, this is your goal. This is your eventual goal, and getting to it, you then lay minecart tracks, and you have well, hell. Let's just go. I mean. Why not? What what's the point in what's the point in stopping at this point really? I mean, I'm not sure how interested you all are in this, but that's not what I want to do. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna need a lot more guns, cause your little mining robots can and will be damaged by everything. Everything everywhere so we'll have a nice special I mean why not oh no it's a pretty neat but it's a pretty neat little game we might as well show it off let's grab another collector because we're actually losing a good bit of money we could be getting just because it's here Alright, let's collect this. Um, let's move down here. Things like this. Let's move down here. Things like that. Alright. Now we start moving up cannons. And we do it slowly and carefully. Because we need everything to be within range. That way we can actually 
protect the cannons, because one cannon moved by itself is just asking to be killed. Two cannons are capable of defending themselves to some extent. Three or more is preferred. So we'll steal one from here. Uh, I think these... If we move them in groups, we should be able to get them to protect themselves. Alright, so... Come on, protect each other. Protect each other, cannons. Be bros. Be bro cannons. Now. Let's go grab some more cannons. And head back. We need... We need all the help we can get. And I wish th I wish they would not shoot through walls, but they do. They will shoot at the nearest target. And the nearest target is usually on the other side of the wall you have placed them up against. So they just sit there and shoot like a moron. Now, let's collect this. I don't want to collect that much. I mean, I don't want to leave it that far out. I'd rather lose a little bit of cash than have it, uh, or have the collector get completely destroyed, because I'm sure you'll lose all the cash then. No. Let's keep moving and keep setting up our... setting up our defensive line further and further. Then I know this is a little boring for you guys, I'm sure it is, but this is how the game works, and if you're if it's two player version, then um you are of course fighting against your friend and well, friend, I can assume. I'm not sure you'd play this game with an enemy. But you uh you set all these defenses up in order to take care of them. I'm gonna well, actually I think I can go one and then grab this and haul this up there and go two. Uh, it needs to actually there. All right, so let's see here. They should be able to withstand. I'm gonna haul up two more cannons just to make sure. And then I think we can start the actual, uh, collecting. Oh, yeah, this would be a better game with two people. There's no doubt about that. But at the same time, it's not a horrible game to play one player. You could do a lot worse. And actually, I think everything here is good. So let's set this up. So we head down here. Now, the cool thing about the robots, and we'll head here, is we go one, R. That's a two... Three, four, five. Now, let's watch what the robots do, because they'll head up. And they grab the ball, and they will hand it off to the other robots. So, you'll have a train of five coming back. And then, we will see... One... Do, and they will hand it off like that in nice little order. It is an absolutely uh, just simple thing that they do, but at the same time, I just find it so uh, cool. It 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 uh, they're like little miners. Now you'll also notice if you're paying any attention that I am Lord Lard, obviously, but all of the points are going to Herr von Spec. That's right, you can't actually uh, win this game. You lose if you win. Because they got the coding backwards. Because this was what they were working on in the last few minutes. Uh, I guess, you know, or at least I believe they were working on this in the last few minutes. I wasn't paying too much attention. I'm on. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five. Five more and see if this will work. Because after a certain point, it does get way too crowded. 
Yeah, so they're they're making some errors now. Hopefully this will fix itself somewhat. Let's see. Yeah, they kind of even themselves out. Let's see if they'll let's see if they'll fix it themselves. Hmm. No. No, they will not. So now the trick is we should delete one or more of these robots. Yeah, like that. And yeah, so not the best programming. I should have uh, left it alone at five. Let's see how that works out. Come on, turn around. Okay, you won't turn around for me. Or maybe you will. Alright, well, that's just spiffy. Anyway, we'll continue actually until we get to the end screen. I'll just sit here and watch the chaos and carnage. Let's pick this up. I'll also, uh, well, I'll just grab turrets and throw them out randomly. I don't care. While we're watching the robots bring shit back, we'll just throw turrets out. We'll see how many turrets it takes to get to the center of the Tootsie Roll Pop or something. Possibly you end up seeing how many turrets it takes to freeze the game, but I doubt that. Uh, eh. Now, this is... Oh, we're getting there. Yeah, this is... This is pretty much what it is, and I would like to try and do something with, and I wonder if these actually hurt monsters. Eh. Not much, if at all, so. Yes, that, uh, that makes sense, uh, or that, well, that not coded, I guess. Hey, we're almost up to, uh... Almost up to the winning percentage. It should take us up to 90. If all the balls made it there. I do like the fact that they were entirely... Uh, not even not even trying to hide the fact that they hadn't fully thought out everything. So, I think it was Jeb said on Twitter. You collect stuff from the center. Not what it was, just you collect stuff. And hey, 94, 96. Come on, we just need two more, guys. Just need two more. There's, there's one. There's one. Just one more. Where are you, you assholes? Where are you? Come on, we want to lose now. Come on, really? Real? Ah, there we go. And. Yep. We lost. That's right. Herr von Speck wins. So that's it. We, um, that's the game. Catacomb Snatch. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Maybe sometime I'll try and get together a multiplayer game and we'll give it a shot. Yeah, or I'll give it a record then. But I'll talk to you all sometime soon. And till then, peace out.